Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how I get the 100 on the PageSpeed Insights. As you can see here, I already have the 100 on mobile. It's on 90, I will run the test again. It just got down by just one point, but it's still on the good results on the mobile. And the desktop version is getting on the 100. Also in other pages of my website, I'm also already getting on the green. If I run again, as you can see, I'm already almost on the 100 on the mobile and the 100 on the desktops. And that tip basically that I do is to have a really good hosting for your WordPress website. The one that I'm using is the one from Cloudways, Full Tour High Frequency. This one has been recommended in many Facebook groups and any other YouTube videos. And I want to show you that this is the one that basically I'm using. It's actually pretty cheap for $13 a month. Of course, I'm having around 8,000 visitors. It's a small blog, but it's growing. And that's a good thing that as you keep growing, you can upscale your host so that you can have even more power so that you can serve all your visitors. Or in case that you need another, any other service provider of the cloud, you can choose between DigitalOcean, Linode, Amazon Web Services, and Google Cloud. And the great tip or the best tip that I can do if, if you're like me that you're probably testing out and watching many other YouTube videos, but you're not getting the perfect results, look for an expert. Uh, I searched here on Fiverr and uh, I found Rimat, who is one of the, the freelancers who helped me to reach those numbers. So if you have a basic website or a e-commerce website, you can hire Remat or you can search for Core Web Vitals here in Fiverr. And there are plenty of freelancers that can help you to improve your website speed and to improve the loading times of your WordPress website. So, but if you want to see what plugins do I have, basically I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro that as you might know, this is a plugin that for website and the WordPress speed probably might not be the best, but as you can already have seen, I already got a hundred. So Elementor is not really a big deal anymore. And also I'm having some other plugins, which is the asset cleanup. Also, I have the GDPR cookie concept that it might add a little bit more code on the loading time. Also rank math. Uh, statically, it's another website speed optimization plugin. Also WP Rocket and WPML, it's another plugin that might uh, not help that much on the website speed. But as I said, there is not any more problems by having too many plugins. About the configuration, since I already got or hired a freelancer, I don't really know that much of the walkthrough, but if you want to try by your own, you can try to get to see how it works statically. This is the one of the plugins that was installed. You can set up the API keys, your WordPress website. Also does it clean up plugin where you can set which, uh, for example, which set of uh, files of the CSS and JavaScript files you want to load or want to avoid loading. Also on the settings here in the asset cleanup, it was set up the minification and the combination of the CSS files. This one was set up here from the asset cleanup. And also, let me show you here from the WP Rocket. I have the infinite license. Also on the cache, there was enabled the cache for the mobile devices. And for the file optimization, it was main here, the JavaScript minification and on the JavaScript was deferred and delayed on the executions. These were the basic configuration set up here on WP Rocket. There was not a, such a big deal. I also have Cloudflare as a CDN provider. It was set up here. You can set up the global API key. 
in the zone ID. And also these are the main configurations set it up. So basically this was the video recommendation for the page speed optimization. You know already I give you this tip to if you're not an expert and you're testing out, but here you're tired of not getting the good result, get Cloudways ultra high frequency, hire a freelancer who is even better that can help you. So I hope that this video helped you. If you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.